Hello everyone, it is Shakes, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve your FPS in Valorant. Now, Valorant isn't exactly the most optimized game, and a lot of that has to do with it being in closed beta currently, and obviously they're not going to have all the optimizations done yet, because obviously it's not in the fully released form that it will be in summer 2020, but for now we're going to have to make do with how the game runs currently, and it appears for a lot of people it doesn't run as well as you'd think for how good the graphics are, they aren't exactly next generation graphics. But anyway, despite all of that, we can still improve the FPS quite a bit, and there's not that many ways to improve your FPS. You should actually know so that's why this video might be a little bit of a shorter one because there's only a few ways because obviously the game is relatively new so you know improving your fps won't be that that massive unless you do absolutely everything i show in this video so without further ado the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the top left then go to settings and this is where we're going to start make sure you are on the video tab and make sure that you go to stats first and make sure that you have client fps on text only or graph only what this is going to do is it's going to show you what your fps is at at the current time so i personally like having it as a graph so it's going to be a little graph on the right side while you're playing a game to see where your FPS is and to see if it's spiking up or down and you know so you can kind of troubleshoot exactly why your FPS might be spiking up or down but anyway once you have client FPS enabled then go to general actually go to graphics quality these are a little bit of easier things to change just make sure everything is on absolutely low and this will definitely help you if you have a bad graphics card then make sure to have vignette and vsync off they're already going to be bad and not really help you turn anti-aliasing off or to none or maybe to make it low because anti-aliasing is a slight bit more useful than some of these other effects but anyway personally i'm just going to turn it to none then go to anisotropic filtering whatever that means exactly and make sure it's on one because it doesn't really improve the graphics if you compare it for one x times 16 x so you can just turn that off so really you should just turn that off and then just go on to turn all these other things off now you might say oh first person shadows shadows seem kind of important why would i turn them off i'd like to see someone around the corner first person shadows only actually are the shadows on your gun so if someone's around the corner you won't actually be able to see their shadows nobody else has shadows except yourself with this so just make sure you turn it off because it's just going to definitely give you a little bit of an fps boost now once you have all these things changed go to general and now the biggest thing you can do to actually change your fps and make the way better is change your display mode to full screen you're always going to want to have this generally when you're playing games just so you don't have input lag and so you can also freely change your resolution and once you do that once it is on full screen just make sure to change your resolution to the lowest one possible now once you click apply it's going to ask you if you'd like to keep these display settings so we're going to click confirm and it might look a little bit more more scrunched in and that's because it's actually stretched actually a lot of pro players play with 4 by 3 stretched but that's not the point the point is to get more fps and overall if you have it on the lowest possible resolution that's just way less pixels that your computer is going to have to render and because of that obviously you're going to have way more fps so that's pretty much all the things you can actually do and there's actually one little change you can actually do outside of the game which is go to your desktop screen right click on your task manager then look at valorant right click on valorant go to open go to details and once you see valorant 64 or whatever part of valorant software that you can see that has the most memory usage just right click it and then go to set priority and change it to high so this is going to make it a high priority on your pc and because then obviously it's going to allocate more resources to it so you can have a higher fps make sure not to set the priority to real time because if you do then it's actually going to harm background apps it's just going to make them not work as well as they could so overall just make sure it's high and if you do that then you're going to have the maximum fps that you can possibly have in valorant now it's important to know that this game is very cpu based and not very gpu based so if you have a very good cpu you're going gonna have a pretty easy time having good frames on this game but if you have a bad cpu and a good gpu it's not really gonna help you as much as it would in other games you know for example like battlefield and call of duty they have great graphics so you don't exactly need all that good of a cpu while you know your gpu can do all the heavy lifting and this game is very very cpu based so if you don't have a good cpu you might want to upgrade that to make sure you have as much fps in games like this and even csgo which you know kind of have the same kind of gameplay so yeah that's pretty much all the ways that you can improve valorant fps in its current state obviously it's not that much because the game isn't even out it's quite new it's very very new if you want a weird comparison if it was a human baby it would not even be able to walk or talk so in its current state obviously it's not going to have that many changes that allow you to improve your fps quite a bit but uh you know if it still doesn't run that well i'd recommend upgrading your cpu mainly because that's going to give you the biggest fps boost so yeah without further ado thank you guys all so much for watching uh, like if you like the video subscribe if you want more and uh yeah uh comment if you have any suggestions and see you guys all in my next video peace out guys bye goodbye fantastic buy Wh whatever buy you'd like I I i'll give out any kind of buy you want whatever see you guys later Peace.